Maite, how long has it been since you and I did our seven or eight sessions? Well, it's been about um, eight months, eight or nine months, something like that. That's been, it's been quite a while. Yeah. And um, as I recall, we're going to go through a little bit of this, you know, because the mere volume of things that we did in, in those few sessions of all the issues you have clearly puts us in the impossible uh, realm, what we call impossible healings, because I don't know of anything else that would do that. Okay. But at the beginning, do you, do you recall this, Maite? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> I can is, type. You what? Or you, I can type. You couldn't computer. type. You couldn't type because you couldn't. You were, the EMF sensitivity with the computer and all that wouldn't let you do that. You had to do it by hand. Absolutely. Yeah. So you had major EMF, you know, Wi-Fi and that kind of stuff sensitivity. Now there are five pages of this here okay five a whole bunch of pages and i'm going to go through a little list here in in a moment I'm just hitting some of the highlights on it um but basically most of these things have just vanished have they not yes yes they have okay either especially the pain that i was in and uh and the sensitivities, you know, the EMS sensitivity, chemical sensitivity, and food sensitivities. So I can eat whatever I want now. <laughs> well, so, okay, yes, and that alone is an impossible healing because, because, well, maybe somebody someplace somewhere gets over that on, in a rare case. It's not the typical thing that happens with conventional methods. But yet you got over that and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let me just read some of this, okay? I just want to, read, just to give an idea of it, okay? So you wrote this, and I, this is by no means all of it. I'm just skipping through it, okay? Pain in the right ear, tension in the scalp, painful teeth, tightness in the throat, joint pain in the elbows and wrists and, and uh, hands, um, lack of energy, tightness in the chest, major uh, sleep issues, EMF sensitivities, um, migraines, um, the multiple chemical sensitivities, multiple food sensitivities, iron overload, um, toxic relationships, feelings of unworthiness of being defective, being powerless, anger issues, despair over feelings of being unloved, difficulty in showing love, shame of self, irrational feelings of shame, dreams of being stolen, uh, Will they let me down? Not allowed to receive compliments or congratulate myself. Self-punishment, guilt over powerlessness. I am not fully on this planet. Conflict with members of my family. Heartache and lack of love. Dreams of people wanting to kill me. Having to escape. That's a few. Okay. <laughs> so of those, we talked earlier, of those, they just about all have have vanished or gotten much, 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 much better. Um, but what I want to go over here, and I want others to hear, is the fact that I don't think we aimed at all with any of those symptoms, did we? No, we did not. <clears throat> no, we did no. not. We worked on the we, emotional stuff. We didn't, yeah, we didn't, we didn't aim at all of a headache or a, you know, an allergy to something, or we didn't aim at that. What we did primarily was we, we found through discussion that there was a lot of issues having to do with your mother, some of your father, mm -hmm. but your mother was overbearing, at least from your perception, yes. and would criticize you, and you ended up getting very, you know, like the I'm worthless type thing, yes. right? You were afraid of your mother, do I say that right? <laughs> I was um, afraid. Um, I was uh, um, destroyed whenever she criticized me, and I and I would feel like crushed. That would yeah. be the word. Yeah. And that is somewhat typical of a very young child who has an overbearing parent or parents. Mm -hmm. They pick this stuff up, make it true. Something's wrong with me, and all that. 
And that's what we collapsed. It was your response to all that that we worked on and collapsed. Am yeah. I saying it right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And as we did that, in EFT land here, we, we consider that to be the cause of all your physical symptoms. All these guilts and angers and griefs and fears and when, uh, that we all collect, once we put those out of the way, physical symptoms, which they caused, okay, start to fade. So talk to me a little bit, if you would, about um, what we did, how, how it was with your mother before mm -hmm. and how it is now. Well, with my mother before, basically, when, when I had to go to her, to her house, I would be already, you know, on my, on my, on my guards, I would say. And um, I, would, um, I would have strong headaches straight away when, when I arrived at her home. And usually she would pick on me because that, that's what she does. <laughs> and she would, be, uh, she, sorry, would, she, would be, you know, she would pick on me, like she would say things that are not nice to me. Like she would say, you know, um, criticize, criticize me, you know, on anything, anything from what I wear to what I do with my husband to or how I raise my daughter, whatever, whatever she's in the mood. And... Um, <clears throat> and uh, I would be very upset about that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything, but I would feel very upset. I would feel down. I would feel depressed. I would feel, uh, I would like um, eat a lot of chocolate and, you know, that kind of reaction. Um, yeah. And sometimes, from time to time, I would have, you know, the, the outburst and I would have the big argument and, and, and feel really guilty about it. So that was basically how my relationship was with my mom. Well, now um, I can go to her home and, um, and feel okay with that. If I don't want, if I feel like I don't want to go, then I don't go. And I don't feel guilty about it. Um, and if she says something to me, because she does, she still does. Um, well, I feel I don't feel worked or, or worked up about it anymore, and I don't feel angry, and I don't blame her um, because the blame was a big part of it, resentment, and I don't feel. I don't have those thoughts anymore, like she's a bad mother or, you know, uh, or I don't, or I deserve it, or I'm not this enough or this enough. I don't have those thoughts anymore. Um, okay. I just go by and try to be more loving towards her, actually, to try and understand what, what she wants or if I if I don't go that path, then at least I don't um, I do stay calm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the relationship yeah. is better. Yes. Um, one of the things I believe we we touched on is we were doing all your sessions. Mm. Um, is when you are young like this and you you get this kind of input something's wrong with you and all these criticisms and abuses of these various forms is what they end up being is until they get resolved and most everybody doesn't resolve them they just collect them and they just build over time and show up in all kinds of ailments of one thing or another but when you're growing up even after you leave the home and you carry them with you, there still is this, something's wrong with me, I'm not good enough, and you have to, that's a conflict within. And until that conflict gets resolved, which I believe we did here, at least largely, you know, with all of that, you're going to carry that around, and that has a really big impact on your system. Among other things, every time you have these negative, what's wrong with me, guilty kind of thoughts, any doctor will tell you, you create, this is my term, but a, a whole series of, a cascade of negative chemicals. And your immune system's got to go deal with all that. And then, and then it, it doesn't, 
handling other immune things, <laughs> and you end up with you had an overloaded immune system, and it's not it can't do its job, so you develop a bunch of stuff. <laughs> before we close, I want to go to one other thing you and I were talking before this before this recording, and that is prior to all of our sessions, you were unable to go to work. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now you are working. I am. Yes. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and you are in the typical, at least we, this is how we discussed it earlier, the typical workplace that you've got a boss and you've got, you know, work colleagues around you and, and, uh, you know, people are vying for different jobs and you get a bunch of stuff, a bunch of lo loaded up on you and, and so on. And so when you come home from that environment, there's a very natural stress goes on. Yes? Yes, that's true. <laughs> and you have, in the evenings, when you come home, you have some reaction to that. Mild headaches for a little while, for example, other stress type reactions. And what I asked you, I'd like to have you just comment on this for a moment. Because you were saying these were things that weren't done yet, still to work on. But in one sense, those things are normal, or at least one could argue they are normal with that kind of daily stress. Mm. But you don't even know what normal is, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> My normal word was to be wary of everyone, of every of the environment, and to to walk around like I was little, little me and everyone was better than me. And uh, so, so yeah, that was my normal for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. And so the level you're at now, perhaps mm -hmm. there's more work. We always have, all of us, myself included, always have more work to do on things. But the way you were describing it, that's the, <laughs> I don't know that that's anything other than normal response. Now, I could be wrong on that, but it's, it's, I, I've heard that before, <laughs> you know, from people in the corporate workplace, anyway. So, anyway, Maite, Maite, thank you. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, Gary, you saved my life. So, yeah, that's a big one, but that's true. Well, I feel that's true. Thank you. All right, <laughs> good. All right. Well, I love saving lives. Okay. <laughs> Better. Okay. But thank you because, you know, the mere volume of all, I just want to repeat it again. The mere volume of all of this really classifies it as an impossible healing because a typical man-made methods just wouldn't do all of that. You know.